In this video we'll see the unboxing and building of the Realm Shaper engine in both styles as well as some other goodies. Hello this is 60 goblins and one brush with a video about the Realm Shaper engines of the Seraphon. Finally I have them in my hands. They're mine. Mine at last, my precious. Okay. <clears throat> also, we will build both of them. One in grey without vines and one in beige with vines. And see how big they really are. We will compare them with other terrain features. And of course, we have some more goodies to show for. First of all, I finally hold in my hands the Battle Tome at last. I was supposed to get it on Saturday, but it came today. I'm so excited to finally leaf through it. And we have some really nice artwork again. I'm so excited. This Battle Tome and the Lumineth, I'm really excited about. And we have some really nice, really nice artwork here. It's so good. Okay, enough of this. Enough of this. Maybe the points. Who's interested in the points? Yeah. The points are important. We'll talk about this later or in another video. The other videos about this. There's more urgent things to do. Let's see, unboxing this. Uh, a guide in black and white, no colors here. And then two sprues. These are a lot of pieces for a pyramid. You would think they're like five or six pieces. It's a four-sided pyramid and a top and this lightning thing on top but there's so many pieces let's see how fast i will be able to build this here's the parts with the vines and here without vines right so this actually doesn't look so big let's see when we put it together we'll compare it to the some other terrain pieces some other Scenery pieces of other armies like the Ossiak Bone Reapers one or the Idoneth Deepkin one. Okay. And as I said, I got two of those because there are two builds. We will build and compare both of them in a moment. I also got, is it Christmas today? Ooh, sorry. The earth is moving. Okay. I also got some Soros card for good measure because I only got very very old ones out of metal and I thought it's time to get some new ones. Do you see this guy here? I think I like this build. Okay, Soros card. And then I also got, you might be surprised, I'm not a Warcry player but I got the Soul Drain Forest. Why did I get the Soul Drain Forest? First of all, Warcry models are really nice. We have the Ogroid Myrmidon and the Fomorite Crusher and so on. But the, so, uh, the Warcry terrain is really nice. The Warcry terrain of the main box is amazing. And you can sometimes get really good deals on these terrain boxes here. You get for the price of two forests. Why do I need two forests? Because I want to build a jungle. I want at least two pyramids, if possible more. And a lot of trees. I want a real jungle for my next Seraphon battle against someone, maybe Ogors or something. Orcs would be nice, yeah, something like that. You get two forests and these ruins. I think one piece is missing, otherwise, there's a ruin. Part you can get, this you can get for free. It's included in the Soul Drain Forest, which is nice. Always some ruins are nice. And then you have two spruce for the trees. Three trees each. 
I will show you later how they look like if you don't know. And then you have a sh lots of um, leaves and twigs and branches. Really nice. Four, four of them, my goodness. So this is really, this should last for a long time. Then we have how to build the trees and now something else actually you would need four of this do you remember the blasted hello heart that was a really nice box with a nice playing mat and some ruins on it it's quite cheap relatively and we like to play on these mats and one of these folding mats like that you have in here and it's a really, really beautiful forest mat. So actually, as I said, it would be good to have four of those. Okay. You see that? So there's a spidery forest here with lots of um, corpses, actually. Dead things. Here, yeah, it's really beautiful. So four of those would be ideal to play, but you only get one. So we have this. And this probably we can't use if we don't play Warcry, but who knows? Most of the tokens in Warhammer are not... Um, very specific anyway, so why not? Some skulls are always nice. On another note, I also got one of my a novel of one of my favorite authors, Stephen Brust. Nothing to do with Warhammer, but really worth the read. His first novel is called Jarek. I already read his first 11 Vlad Taltos novels, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, and now I restarted again with the 12th novel, I think the 15 now or so. Yorich is really funny. It's very action-packed and very funny. It's about an assassin who can also do sorcery. Okay, now I will do a little break in which I will build these things in record time and then we'll have a look at them. Then I will spray them and then we'll have a look at them again and compare them to other terrain features. See you in a moment. Wow, I have to show you this. This is the top. You can glue it together like this or like this, or basically that's the two parts. So not only the four sides and two shapes, but also this, either with vines or not, and with this seraphon symbols. That's really cool. Who comes up with this? It's better than Lego. So where are we so far? One spruce empty, one spruce almost empty. It's 27 minutes. We have four pieces like that for the sides. We have the top piece and the shooting lightning thing. And we have the four corner pieces here. This is ingenious work, really. Games Workshop, you employ geniuses. This is really a masterwork of terrain shaping, but it's not an easy build. <laughs> not, it's not a fast build. You cannot build this in 15 or 20 minutes, I think. I challenge you, who can build this in 20 minutes? So lastly, you have to fit this corner piece. It is a bit like Lego. No, like this and another piece like this. I counted there about 43 pieces and I'm about uh, minute 42 now. One piece of advice, build it from inside. Right, look inside like this and then you see how the pieces fit together because it's kind of zigzag. One piece is out, one piece is inside. 
So if you look from the inside, it's easier to see how it fits together. So the fourth wall is actually the easiest to fit. Now we have this and this on top. And lastly here there are little gaps inside where the lightning thing fits. Here these pieces, they fit on the inside. Okay, now we got the sharp picture back. The lightning pieces fit on the inside of this what do you call this? Trusses. Okay, it's done. It's really a masterwork. It's a piece of genius. I'm really impressed. It's a little bit smaller than I thought. Let's build the second one. Actually, I sleep at night, but sometimes if I make a video, it takes as long as it takes. I sweeten my time with the new My Dying Bright CD. The Ghost of Orion. If you're into that kind of music, doom metal and so on. Really, really nice CD. It just came out a few days ago, weeks ago. Okay, and here you see the other way. We can build this thing. Let's see. So for the first one, it took me 50 minutes. If you subtract the time, I sometimes showed you the pictures. I have to switch on the video and off maybe 45 minutes. Let's see if the second one is faster and while I'm building the second one I spray this one already with... which one is that? The one with the vines is the beige one. I sprayed with Wraithbone. Okay, that's it. The second one. 35 minutes. Once you know how everything works it's much faster. 35 instead of 15 minutes. That's quite nice. The only mistake you can do is where you plant these trusses or idols because um, some of them have two gaps and some of them have one gap where the lightnings fit in. Okay, let's spray this in gray and then compare. Okie dokie, while the other pyramid is drying we compare the sizes. This is one of these new seraphon trees. I just started it it's not finished. You see, the pyramid is beautiful, but a little bit small. Okay, then we have the Fane of Slanesh. A feculent Nalmor of Nurgle. The Loon Shrine, one of my favorite pieces, is actually bigger than the pyramid. Then we have the corn terrain piece. Yeah, almost the same size. And then we have the Idoneth ship, part one and part two. If we put the ship together, it's also a bit bigger than the pyramid. Okay, then let's have a look at both pyramids in comparison. Also, what might be interesting in is to compare it with unit. This is a Carnosaur. This is a Troglodon. Soros Knight. And my own salamander. Hmm, let's try a slun. I still have my very ancient metal slun. Yeah, you see, the pyramid is a tiny bit too small for my taste. Okay, now to the really to the comparison between the two pyramids. I couldn't find my mechanical standard gray spray, so I took the fang. Looks quite nice actually. So here you see one design with... Okay, we have these two pyramids here. Let's change that for the background. Black and white. Nice. Now let's have a look at my reforestation project. 
So now we go. Okay. That's kind of what I'm planning, only bigger. Trees, pyramids, seraphon, the whole lot. Okay, that's it with my pyramid. I actually forgot one more piece. An unfinished Osiak Bone Reapers terrain feature. Almost same size. I don't have my storm vault with me right now. Okay, I'm pretty happy with these. They're only a tiny bit too small for my taste. So we won't get around building a larger pyramid out of foam at some point. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing and see you very soon. The next video will be about my Razordon experiments. Watch this space.